The following video is for viewers that are 15 or older. The content on this channel is not meant for anyone under the age listed on the disclaimer. Oh god. I think I feel asleep on the job. Boss, sorry I. Boss, how do you explain this? What am I doing, at this unknown building or, what even is this? I swear I demand answers. So you appear to be a wag. Well, I've been looking for you for so long. I want to have fun with you. This is not funny. Why was I taken to this base? If you don't give me answers I will slice you till no tomorrow. You won't be doing crap I am afraid. You're being hostage until father notice. And you will have some new buddies. Let's take you home. Help help help. Oh, I'm gonna get your ass. I'm going to show you I'm not that person you mess with. Let me go. Now, you're gonna regret this. I'm not afraid to fight you. Paul. Crap crap oh my god. Well, is everyone ready for Devious Diesel's 198th job? Because these are his last three, before he is done for good after. I hope this job is going to be somewhat improvement for us. That's exactly what I hope happens. After all this time, I hope they can finally enjoy working without dealing with some assholes in our jobs. And no one will even bother messing with us, because we've got the power to assault them, which we do not want to do right now. I honestly actually feel ashamed a little when we assaulted some of those people. Especially on Butters and that kid at Punched Burger. I don't think it's worth what we did anymore. Even though you do have a good point, we will never be sorry for what we did to them, because they had this coming for a while, knowing they weren't aware of who they messed with. I agree. My dad was one of those pure examples. When I became a troublemaker in that user's channel which I don't care about anymore or bring up. My dad tortured me so much, and he acted like he wasn't really being nice to me anymore. I had a very good life. Like the time I went on a mission to save Gina from those. Soliders Kiris hired me, Bomberman and Morgan, became good friends. After I started being a troublemaker again, not anymore. I really miss those days. Who even knows what happened to Lily, Agents, Cody, Emily and Amanda in our universe. They probably got adopted by some people and are staying with them. Since I don't care about them at the moment, along with my classic clone in Taurus, I am moving on from that long ago but I completely destroyed my perfect life. Listen here, your former creator's version of you, all the things we did can't be erased. And I'm afraid you won't be able to return to your normal life again. They probably are not gonna wanna be your friend again after all the assault and you did. Especially your own family. We were never meant to be this way though still, we caused crimes. I know this hurts for you, that this Bomberman and Mogan person betrayed you after you became a troublemaker again, but you have a lot of friends now. I her, it's okay, bud. Just forget about them and live on with the new friends you made. I moved on with the lives I had with Jesse and Bulls AI, before I became a different person. And I don't care to be honest, because I will at some point betray them. Least I don't have to worry, because they will now take Dan Hamming for all the blame. Maybe if he didn't decide to assault Devious Diesel the first time they met, we wouldn't be having these horrible lives. My job's for me, we're just bad. Assign jobs 9, 10, 12, 16, 20, 32, 38, 43, and 48. Ugh. I cannot get over how those three roasted me back at Yogi Bear's Honey Fried Chicken, but the worst one, was fucking 50. How was I responsable for that girl getting beaten up? Oh that Dambo is dead if I see him again. Because the boss didn't care. Not to mention but I had a horrible Halloween and never got to celebrate it with the rest of you guys. It's best I don't talk about it anymore. Agent Trout. It's okay. Hopefully we won't be seeing those people in my job. 
None of our enemies from the past have came by our sights, since they know the full truth. And with that, they are leaving us alone. But I don't think they will let us get away with that Halloween prank we did though, right now. The job is starting, I see our first customer. Welcome to Ross. How can we help you on this fine day? Where is the section for the laces shoes? It's the ones you tie. It's over there, sir. You will find lace shoes on that lot. Okay, thank you. Welcome to. You are some odd looking Sonic. Anyways, what can we help you with? Just want to get these dressed shoes. Okay, that total is $25. Okay, here it is. Alright, the shoes are yours, and have a nice day. Welcome. Wait a minute. Aren't you the hacker deuce from SML? Um, yeah we are, but what doom do you want to say about it? Screw you both. You both are huge disgraces to SML. You, along with that Tyler Kit, Dougie, Tuna Fish Terry and other SML characters ruined the original SML. Not to mention the worst SML video I watched was Marvin the Pool Boy. I hated how Rose didn't stick up to him and just accused him of dating you when he didn't want to. Hey, don't you speak to us like that. We were here to get shoes, but after the way you spoke to us, we are getting the hell out of here. If that's what you want. Whatever. Glider, Jeffrey from 2003 and Darren Studios puts better effort to making SML videos than the regular SML themselves nowadays. You two just go. Honestly, I don't like what SML made for 2023 when it started. It was seriously nothing but crap, especially when it's all about Junior, Jeffy, Joseph, Keddy, Rose and Marvin only. At least they actually made some really awesome videos like the Monster Mash, Keddy works at Red Lobster, Jesp gets adopted and the Five Nights at Freddy's series. Overall, the rest from this year were not good. I hope they continue to keep making videos like we see now, compared to what we saw from before this year. I'm not being bothered with any of you especially that red evil bald guy who once molested me. Welcome to. Okay, you are both just tanks. How the hell would you be able to wear shoes? Just go. This logic just gotten more stupid than ever. Welcome to. Well ain't that a surprise. So, I meet you once again, the same guy from Subway. Oh my god I hadn't seen you like, in a while I also think you got fired, is that right? Of course, I fucking did, but why do you have to ask and bring that up? After I stopped working, yet I run into old customers from my job still. What? You got fired 200 times in a row? I'm honestly shocked you kept going, look at yourself. You literally got to the point where you just made a fool out of yourself. You were so mean to a lot of people. I don't know what they did to you. But you just gave yourself an embarrassment to the world. So why are you still working now? Look, I don't want to talk about it, because I'm not even getting jobs anymore. Now you either buy something or you get out. Welcome to...